In this video, we're going to learn how to use something called a reveal instead of a uh, sweep that will allow us to have our siding actually go up to the gable here on our uh, Revit model. You can see here that this profile I have that's revealing across actually is something called like a void cut, which means I'm carving out this log cabin effect into the wall. Same process as before in my other video, so I'm going to go through it a little bit faster. If you watch my video on doing profile sweeps, you'll see a very similar process. But basically, we're going to go to New, Family, and we're going to create a profile family. Say Open. The crosshairs here basically represent, uh, right here is where I want to draw in the uh, positive X, positive Y. If I minimize this, I'm going to take you to a pre-made one that I have done. Let's see, this is it. So essentially what I've done is I've created a uh, two inch deep by 20 feet tall profile. And what I did is I offset this line in a quarter of an inch. So I did an offset at a quarter inch and I brought that in. And then what I did is I made an arc um, by going to create line three point arc. And when I came out two inches here, essentially what I did is I clicked and went down 12 inches and then I went over and snapped to my line there. And that's how I made um, that arc. Now when I was done, I deleted out this last line, and then now I have this two-inch uh, wide profile that then has these log cabin arcs kind of sweeping through and out. Then you click load into project when this is done. So load into project, loading it into this Lake Delton project. I have this already loaded in, so I'm going to say no to that. Whoops. I'm just going to override it. It doesn't really matter. And then so here, this is where I have to click on the wall. I'm going to go to my edit type. You have to do the preview to get these other menu options available. So as I'm editing this wall, you take a look at the structure of it. Uh, I'm going to make one finished wood uh, as my last piece of material. I'm going to go two inches thick on here. Then I'm going to click on preview so I can see this off to the side. By default, you're going to see it from a plan view, from a top view. You have to go to section view. And then instead of doing a sweep like I did in my last video, we're going to do a reveal. By doing a reveal, what I'm going to do is go to add in the profile because I already had it loaded. So I'm going to go to add. We're going to search for what you save it as. So I saved mine as Lake Delton uh, Reveal Log. You're going to see it show up here now in the preview. We say apply. And what we see over here is that uh, it's in a little tight. If I say OK on that, scroll in. You can see that this thing is cutting in like so. And if, that, if, if we get no errors, we know we don't have to adjust anything on here. So we're going to say OK. Looks like no errors came in. If we did have to adjust something, we could offset it in or out slightly. So I have that reveal now that's been cut, and that allows us to uh, to go up into a gable, and our profile then uh, is invisible um, where it's beyond the wall. As you can see here with the blue popping up, right? That's our reveal going up, our profile reveal going 20 feet up but it doesn't show in our model. There is one element that needs a little bit of paying uh, attention to. So above doors, it just doesn't really work very well. So if you have a wall that has a door on it, what you have to do here is edit the profile of that door. And essentially what we have to do here now is we have to carve out an area above it so that way we can add a short little wall uh, into that area. So this takes a little bit of finessing to carve that out. And then, oops.
unjoin. And then last, let's just close this sketch up right here. Easy way to do that is throw a window up here. Oh, I didn't close that loop. I gotta close that loop above the door. Here we go from side to side. And check that off. So you'll see here I've cut out a little area above the door. And now what I have to do is figure out what my door height is. Mine's like roughly six foot eight, I believe. Uh, six foot eight inches. And then what I'm gonna do is create a wall here that will line up the cabin. So I'm going to go to my floor plan, scroll down, and I'm going to go to architecture, wall. We're going to go from the floor. Let's go a base constraint up, six foot, eight inches. And we'll send it up to the roof. And we'll draw that just across that way. Now it's saying we can't see it in this view. That's fine. If we go to 3D, let's see how close we got. Let's do the log siding wall. All right, and then I'm gonna use my align tool. So let's do align. Let's go with that center line with that center line. There we go. And it looks like let's see how it ends up looking. Okay, so now this is what we have to do. We have to shift this up, down a little bit till we get our uh, log lines to line up here. And this is the tedious part. If you have a better solution for this, please let me know in the comments below. There we go. Pretty good. And that's our solution for above the doors. Overall, that reveal cut is pretty much the way to go, especially if you have a lot of gables on your roof. Don't forget to save and subscribe.